<clears throat> Hello, this is Mr. Huff, and I want to talk to you about embossing. And I hear I have a weird little shape, and it has the word alligators on it. I want to show you how to do this. So first, we're going to start with a part, and it needs to have a curved surface. So I'm going to start a sketch on this XY plane. And I want the back of it to be flat, so I'm going to choose a line, and not a spline, a line. And then I'm going to just go up the Y axis. And I'm going to give that a 2 inch dimension just to give me enough space to write on. And now I'm going to struggle with getting this spline to work. So at first I get my spline, but I don't connect it at the end, so it didn't take. So I get to do it twice. And this is the interpolated spline, is the one I'm using, attempting to use. So what this does is it lets us make a connection between two points with a mathematic curve that's very, very smooth. It doesn't have any edges in it. And be sure you connect those so we get a fully enclosed loop so it extrudes properly. So the next thing I'm going to do is extrude that and two inches seems to be the number of the day. And now I have this curvy surface here that I want to write some text on. So I'm going to offset a work plane from one of the origins. So we'll use the YZ axis and then I'm going to pull that. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see that it is actually passing through the part. So we, as we drag this forward, you can see that it's passing through and we want to suspend this work plane just over the face. Okay, so I'm going to look at it from the right. You can see it's just a little bit above the piece itself. Now we're going to start a sketch on this new work plane. And I'm going to use the text tool. I'm going to highlight this area. You'll have to play with the text a little bit. Uh, I'm just going to throw something easy up there. I don't really care about orientation. But it can be a little tricky getting it to go the right direction. So, hey, go Jags. Uh, notice that you have to put in the size of each letter. So I select all of the letters and put 0.3 for my size. Uh, you don't want to make it overlap the part where it goes outside of the part. So now I'm just going to place this where I want it. So let's put it across this right edge. And now we have the words go Jags suspended above the piece. I selected the emboss tool. And I'm choosing the letters as my profile. I choose the center button at the top so that it can cut down into the part. And I'm trying to set the depth to 0.05, but I'm having difficulty typing. And I want that to go into the part. So I make those selections. And if, you, if everything works just right, we should be able to hide this work plane. And you can see that it says Go Jags. And it is cut into that profile so from straight on you see the words go jags but as you rotate it around you can see that it is indeed cut down into the curvy surface and this is why emboss is a little more powerful than extrude so that's enough this is kind of some advanced embossing so have fun making parts with advanced boss embossing just for grins threw a couple of uh, fillets on there kind of curve it up and that's all I got. Go Jags.